Hello and welcome back to Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. So, in the last one, we uh, basically just saw how life was going with Ichiban uh, in d more recent times. I still don't think we're like up to the present necessarily, because I know this game takes place in 2023, and it's 2022 right now. So, this is kind of, well, not like a flashback, because we never saw anything at the beginning, but uh, something's going to happen in here and it's it's gonna have to flash forward at some point uh he apparently has a crush on sayako which i had no idea about and he got some great advice from dachi and nanba just just wonderful advice about how to handle the state because it turns out ichiban is extremely bad at dating well he thinks he is and he's very nervous <laughs> so yeah uh, but we got their advice, and now he's going to sleep and prepare for the date. And I think that's it. I think we covered everything. We still, we're still we still in tutorial land, so there's probably still going to be tutorials. But uh, I did make sure to edit the first episode before, we, before recording this one. And uh, I dropped the sound effects kind of larger than normal uh, because they are quite loud in battle. Like... Those, I feel like, definitely could come down quite a bit. Music, I dropped a tiny bit because it sometimes conflicts with the voices, especially since the audio for some voice lines are a bit quiet. So, I'm try I'm tr we'll have it sorted out. In like three to four episodes, the audio should be balanced. I want to make sure you can hear everything in the game and not just me because I've seen too many Let's Plays where I've literally clicked out of the Let's Play and been like, nope when I couldn't hear the characters in a game that has voice scenes because it's kind of, it sucks. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I prefer it this way. So the audio is going to be a little bit louder. It might be competing with me sometimes. I hope not, but we'll, we'll see. I usually stay silent during cutscenes anyways, but okay. I think that's pretty much everything. I won't do a recap like that every time. It's just, you know, just just to reassure people after the first episode. Uh, also, if if an episode said sidetracked in the thumbnail or in the title, it'll say it in both. That is like a 90% uh, side quest episode. There won't be much story, if any at all. So whenever in the future, if you're watching, you see a sidetracked and you don't care about side quests or whatever, you can skip that episode because I will definitely be saving up to do those episodes separately if I can. I may occasionally do some in main story episodes, though. Now I got a busy day tomorrow. I'll hit the hay. So where do you think he's going to actually bring her? Oh no, he actually got that suit. Am I late? No, not at all. Actually, uh, I just got here. <laughs> Look, you don't have to be so nervous. That's right. But wow, I can tell you went all out for today, Ichiban. Oh, you mean uh, the guys helped me pick this out? <laughs> is, is it weird? <laughs> no, I think you look nice. Mm -hmm. So, where are we off to? Oh, uh, first things first. <clears throat> I've got to turn down so personal audio. Please come again soon. Okay. Oh, they're full too. So, man, so much for planning ahead. Damn. They had a bunch of places picked out. How's every one of them full? Well, Seriously? it is lunchtime, so I guess it makes sense. Let's try somewhere else. Sorry. Those were all the places I had in mind. Oh, really? Guess we should have made reservations ahead of time. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have thought about that. You're too nervous. Damn it. What am I doing? Where the hell do we go now? Oh, hang on. I probably should have, shouldn't have. should be the only one picking here. Uh, Sachan, hmm? is there anywhere 
you'd want to go? Me? Well, actually, yeah, there is. Oh, then hey, let's try to get a table. Oh, it's uh, not a place to eat. Huh? What is it then? What, do I have to spell it out for you? I mean, you're the one getting all fidgety. Uh, what? Is she for real? We've been walking all this time, right? Let's stop by. A hotel? No way, dude. What, what are you... What? I assumed you were feeling the same way. But, but it's still light out and, and stuff. Since <laughs> when does that matter? Day or night, I could really use it right now. Okay, there's some sort of misunderstanding going on here. Holy crap, Sachan does, really doesn't mince words, does she? I'm a first-time dater, not some loose cannon Mr. Libido. <laughs> what would Nanba or Adachi do at a time like this? What would anyone do? Well, here's the thing. I don't think she was looking at the hotel sign. Uh, just in that general direction. So. Uh-oh. Be like Adachi. That's confidence, and this is probably passion? More than likely. I have no idea, though. Um, it's our first date. We can't go to some hotel. Gotta derail this somehow. Be like Namba then. Tell her how you feel. Oh, charisma. Okay, let's give Namba's method a try. Just tell her how you feel. You know, naturally. Sachan, I don't mean to wuss out here or anything, but honestly, I'm a little scared. Scared? Oh, well, yeah. I think I know what you mean. I get scared too sometimes. Huh? You do? Yeah, I mean, it's risky, especially when you think about the future. Oh no. Well, then why jump straight to a hotel? What? A hotel? Where did you get that idea? <laughs> huh? Isn't that one? I meant I could use a cigarette. A cigarette? There's a smoking area a little ways up ahead. See? Oh, 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 right. Duh. Yeah, smoking. I, I knew that's what you meant. Sure, let's smoke. Heck, maybe I'll have two. That's fair. Are you okay, Ichiban? Poor guy. That was a very clear, like... <laughs> she wasn't looking at the sign. Shit, now things are all awkward. And I still don't have a backup plan. Come on, Ichi, think. I just gotta get the conversation going. What are some things we can both talk about? What the hell? These are not good conversation topics. Uh, she will make fun of Namba. Actually, she'll make fun of both of them. I think that's... <laughs> I actually don't know who I would choose here. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Eyes are closed. I don't know who it's going to land on. And go. You know, I wonder what Namba looks like without his glasses. Wh <laughs> Why? Oh, well, it's just I realized I've never seen him without him. Hey, you're right. Well, now I'm kind of curious, too. Have what we... if he's actually super hot or something? Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of mean to Nanchan. Still, he could use a little spiffing up. <laughs> Get his hair done and stuff. I know. We should plan the guy a makeover one of these days. Adachi-san can help out, too. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> hey, plan on it, then. Say... Wouldn't you rather spend more time with Nanchan and Adachi-san than be on a date with me? Huh? I mean, you seem like you really perk up whenever you talk about them. Oh, no, I, I didn't... Just something we have in common, is all. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Oh, right. Speaking of those two, I just remembered. They were telling me about a place near Jinnai Station that's supposed to be pretty good. You maybe want to go there now? Hey, <laughs> sure. Yeah, let's do it. All right, talking about Nanja and Namba <laughs> actually paid off. Time to make a comeback. Yeah, he seemed very normal in that moment, but every other moment he seems so scared.
Uh oh, they're the only ones here. That's even worse. What? Why here? Of all the places, why a fancy capo Whoa, restaurant? Look at this counter. Is that real Hinoki Cypress? Sh sure is. Everything okay, Ichiban? Yeah, I just assumed the place would be a little more casual, seeing as Namba and Adachi suggested it. I doubt those two have ever actually been here. Actually, come to think of it, all they said was that the place had good atmosphere. Great, thanks a lot, guys. They probably just used the bathroom. Kapo has, like, etiquette and rules here, and shit. let's order something. That was really uh, fast. Okay. Calm down, Ichi. It's just Kapo. Not some ritzy French or Italian place. It's Japanese food, right? You eat that all the time. Yeah, let's look at the menu. Those are real fast. Oh, shit, I can't even read these. All right, I think I'm going to try this. I'll have the Shunkokugyo, please. Oh, miss, that's actually read Harutsugeuo. Oh, really? I, I'm sorry. She can't read it either. Satran made a mistake? Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Whoa, and now she's embarrassed? Okay, think. What's the best thing to do here? Say something wrong, too. Oh, what? Be like Nanban, move on? That's not right here. Be like Adachi and cover for her. I can't just let Sachan stew away in silence over this. I gotta let her know uh, things are okay. There's no need to be embarrassed, Sachan. Looking at it myself, I doubt many people can read everything on the menu. For one thing, a little pronunciation guide wouldn't hurt. Oh, no, you don't have to say that. It's our first time here, after all. Yeah, true. I couldn't help but hear, sir. You find our menu unsatisfactory? Uh, no, we're sorry. Everything's just great. Well, actually, he has a point. Uh, huh? A lot of first-time customers tend to get discouraged by our menu. We've had trouble keeping regulars as of late. Mm. Upon trying to determine the cause, I thought perhaps our emphasis on formality set the bar a little too high. Sure, formal's great and all, but when it starts intimidating you, it kind of loses its luster a bit. You're absolutely right. To that end, we'll be adding pronunciations to the menu as soon as possible. Thank <laughs> you for being so open and honest. Wow, they're updating the menu thanks to you, Ichiban. You didn't let the fancy atmosphere stop you or anything. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> I just said what I was thinking. I mean, look at this. They put these two kanji together, but Don't. who's ever going to be able to read that? Well, actually, that's just shrimp. What? Shrimp? Even I could read that. Now you're embarrassing me. Now, now. Allow us to offer some onmitsu for dessert on us as a token of our appreciation. Really? Oh, I love onmitsu. Thank you so much. Definitely could have been smoother there, but Sachan's happy, so job well done. Okay. Kind of sounded like the P4. One of the P4 themes going on in there. Oof. Who knew Capo style was so good? Seriously, that was delicious. I don't know if I would have ever gone there if not for our date. Thank you so much, Ichiban. Oh, really? Hey, I'm just happy you're happy. Ugh, no way. What's up? See that guy walking toward us right now? You mean those three guys? The one leading him? His name's Tanaka. He used to be a regular of mine. At your cabaret club? Yeah. He's president of an IT venture firm, but money or not, it doesn't make up for how he acts. Mm. He would lie to all the other customers saying I was his girl, so I banned him from the club. But even after all that, he'd wait for me at the back door. So I made up my own lie and told him I had a boyfriend. Jeez, that's pretty bad. Yeah, but he doesn't give up. He'd tell me, you're lying, or there's no way you have a boyfriend. And what? worse, he still hangs out back sometimes. Think he sees through you, or do you just need to be more convincing? <sighs> I'm not sure, but he says he can read people like a book. Anyway, this is perfect. 
Ichiban. Play along, okay? Huh? Classic. It's all up to you. Now, act like you're my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Uh, but this is so sudden. Huh? Saiko-san, what a coincidence. What are you doing here? What? Isn't it obvious? I'm on a date with my boyfriend. Boyfriend? You mean the dressed up caveman? Hey there! My name is Ichiban Kasuga, and I'm dating Psycho san Jeez, way to be subtle. Do you believe me now that I have a boyfriend? Of course not. Come on, you know I can read people like nobody's business. No boy. This poor guy doesn't look even remotely your type. No way, no how. All right, better start acting like her boyfriend. What kind of guy would be a good match for Satan? Definitely never crossed my mind before. Oh shit, I actually have no idea what she would... For her, I feel like cool and stylish would be more than down to earth. But based on the way she acts towards her friends, she definitely enjoys the down-to-earth vibe. And it's not about what would look good on the outside, but if this guy can read people like a book, this is more realistic on the inside of, of what she'd like. Yeah, let's try Namba. Down-to-earth. Tatan typically looks like someone what someone's got on the inside. If she had a boyfriend, he'd probably be a down-to-earth dude. All right, just gotta act natural. So, is all. you're Saiko-san's boyfriend. Okay then. And what do you do for work? Actually, I'm a contract employee at Hello Work. A contract employee? Ha! You're a temp. And you think you can land a girl like Saiko-san? No, oh my God. As if I'd care about that. All right. Let me ask you this, Mr. Boyfriend. If Saiko-san ends up 10 million yen in debt, are you gonna pull her out? I can pay that off in my sleep. Can you? I don't have that kind of money, so no, I can't. I thought so. You don't have what it takes to protect her. She's not 10 million in debt, though. I can listen to her and share in her worries wherever, whenever, for as long as she needs. Isn't that what a boyfriend's supposed to do? Hmm. Ichiban. <laughs> and what the hell does that solve? You'll sit around and stress out. The end. Oh boy, these Except guys are it's great. not the end. It's comforting to have someone worry alongside you. Knowing they care can give you the strength to keep going. It's like how multiplying two negatives gives you a positive. That's the kind of man I'd want. I'm glad Ichiban is my boyfriend. You serious, Sako-san? You're really telling me this scruffy-looking oaf is your boyfriend? <laughs> you didn't hear me the first time? But, no, 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 no. How could I lose to a dumpy guy like him? Dumpy? Yep, you lost. So can you please promise to stop following me around? Sure, I'll promise. Right after I teach you two a lesson. Wait, so. What? You want to crush my heart? Fine, I'll crush you. Oh, All right. The battle is on. Party member tutorial, I'm sure. Working as a team, your allies' positioning opens up a variety of strategic possibilities, like knockback chain death. Oh, allowing them to follow up after an enemy is knocked in their direction. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. And back attacks against enemies who have their attention divided. Many of these attacks provide extra damage. Oh my god. Ooh, that sounds fun. Okay, this guy's got his back to her. Oh, oh, I killed him, so she didn't. Auto battle. I will not be using this. I like playing myself. But, yeah. I like that they have it. Um, They're both out of range for... They're yellow. They're, they're too far away. It's fine. Here we go. All right, I'm currently still not blocking anything. That's good. All right, what do you got? Boundless cheer. Really? She starts with nothing. 
boost attack of You're in it now. nearby allies, but why is it over there? Why why is it there a green marker? That's weird. Don't get caught. Huh, the green marker was originally around him, so that threw me off. This is a cool AoE marker. I like this. Kind of reminds me of like Judgment's uh Dyson Cube, that's it. Ooh, I wasn't expecting the triple. Okay, get in front of her. Yeah. <laughs> Not an enemy in sight. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Shit. Whoa! What the hell, man? That's right. Some trash for the trash! Mm-hmm. Oh, man, what an asshole. Well, at the very least, it looks like he's done following you around, Sachan. Thanks, Ichiban. Way to play the part. Your little ad lib at the end was amazing. <laughs> hey, my pleasure. Oh. If only I could tell her that the ad lib was a real deal. Still, that jerk totally ruined your new clothes. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Ugh, it's all my fault. Nah, they're just close. But, um, I should probably go freshen up. If it's all right, would you mind waiting a little bit? I'll go change. Okay, I'll be right here. Great, be right back. What? Where are you going to change? <laughs> oh, we're getting some still frames now. Uh, we're getting the the rest of the date montage. Okay. Ooh, do we have darts in this game? Aww. That was a full full day date. Full day. Hey, sorry. Couldn't find a vending machine. No worries. <laughs> you know, I wasn't sure how this was going to go, but I had fun. Thanks, Ichiban. Oh, uh, sure. Happy it all worked out. He's, he's hyperventilating. You okay? So listen, I know I used to be a Yakuza and all, and now that I quit, I'm basically just scraping by every day. I Ichiban, what, what is this all about? I'm not very bright, and I suck at studying too. For real, Captain Sawashiro's been calling me a dumbass since the day we met. But still, I'm working a steady job now, and I take it really seriously. I think I even got a good reputation at the office, too. Physically speaking, I'd say I'm pretty strong. I mean, I'm nothing compared to a guy like Kiryu-san. But I definitely know how to hold my own. I don't drink or smoke too much, either. And I can't say I don't gamble, but, well, it's mostly just a hobby, you know? The point is, I don't really have too much to offer. But when it comes to you, I give everything I have just to make you happy. So, uh, let me ask you. Will you... Will you marry me? What? Don't do the walk away thing again. I swear on my honor as a man, no matter what happens, Sachan, I will always be there for you. Listen, I know how hard it is to go it alone, especially as a woman. To run things at the club like you do, all while looking after your dad and sister? That's incredible! But if we're together, you won't have to bear all that on your own anymore. I'll help you look after your dad. And if anything at all happens with Nanoha, 
I'll be right there. I'm serious. You won't even have to work. You can hang at home and leave the rest to me. And I wouldn't push all the housework on you either. I'll clean, cook, do laundry, shop, whatever you want. And if we have a kid, you can bet I'll raise him right. And then one day, maybe we could all visit Arakawa-san's grave together. I tell him, look at this happy family I've built. You can rest easy up there, cause I'm doing just fine down here. Oh God. Such a... Thanks again, Ichiban. Today really was fun. Wait! Uh-huh! Hey! Hang on a sec! Satan! Did... Did I say something wrong? Uh, no. No, nothing like that. I just need to get home. Up early tomorrow, you know? <laughs> it's probably the same for you too, right? Anyway, let's just keep at it. Um... But I... Uh... Oh, this What's awkward. your answer? That came out of nowhere. Poor guy, though. Good grief. What kind of moron proposes on the first date? Yeah. Maybe it's some sort of late bloomer panic. I don't know what to say. I mean, uh, I could see you're getting turned off or something, but I doubt Sachan would be mad about it. Well, well, no, she wasn't mad, I don't think. She just said she was leaving all of a sudden. Idiot. That means she's mad. Possibly fuming. Dare I even say seething? Well, that's it then, boys. Game over. Let's put the old dream out to pasture. Hey! Quit screwing around and help me out. For real. I got no idea what's what anymore. Ah, so the date itself. That all went fine, right? Yeah. I mean, I was really nervous and awkward at first, but eventually Sachan started having a lot of fun. At least I think she did. You know, now that I think about it, maybe she was already fed up with me at that point. Oh boy, this is where it all starts. The doubt's rolling in. So much for the hero of Yokohama. Well, hang on, this is Sachan we're talking about. If she wasn't feeling it, she would have called it real fast. In that case, you must have said something pretty stupid in that proposal. What all did you say? Give us the spiel, huh? Well, everything. Now? It's kind of embarrassing. He said everything you Look, could say. Ass. If we don't know exactly what you said, then we can't help you. Now, spit it out. Uh, um, uh, well, first, I talked about how I'm poor uh, and how I used to be in the Yakuza. Mm -hmm. I mentioned I wasn't too smart, but that I was working an honest job. I said I don't drink, smoke, or gamble much. Yeah. That was a good chunk of it. Forgot the child. Hmm. So far, so good. No red flags or anything just yet. So, then what? Uh, then? Uh, right. I said I didn't have much going for me, but I swore I'd make her happy. And yeah, after that, I proposed. No, he's leaving something out. Ugh. What? That was it. Listen, Ichiban. Sachan might be working her ass off, but she's out there living her dreams. You think a girl like that really needs someone to gallop on in and save the day? Oh. Uh, Look, I know you didn't mean it like that, but if there was ever a way to screw up, that was it. Uh. Sounds like we got our culprit, but just to be safe, what else did you say? Uh, after that, I said I love that she's so responsible, how, how it's really impressive <laughs> for a woman to do what she does. 
Wait, what? You really said for a woman? <gasps> Was that bad? Stuff like for a woman or even though you're a woman, that kind of talk can come off as pretty sexist, even if you're just hanging with us guys. Really? Yeah. Oh boy. You raised a whole bunch of red flags, huh? I got a bad feeling about this. Ugh, me too. So, was there anything else? Well, uh, well, I mentioned her dad and sister. She really goes out of her way for them, you know? Because of that, I said I'd take care of the bills and she could just hang out at home. Oh, shit. I'm sure you meant you just wanted her to take it easy. But you don't think Sachan's at the club just for the money, do you? I, I know there's more to it than that. Maybe, but the way you said it might have been misinterpreted to mean otherwise. I get you were panicked, but there had to be a better way to phrase that, right? Oh, man! Oh, what I wouldn't give to go back and do it all over! Well, let's be doubly sure there is not more. Did you say anything else after that? I did. I said that even if Sachan did stay at home, I'd help out with the chores. And that if we ever had a kid, we could... All visit the boss's grave together? Yeah. Uh, is that finally it? You didn't add any more fuel to the fire. No, that was the last of it, I think. Well, you sure went out with a bang. So you said you'd help with the chores. Noble, but I doubt it earned any points. That more or less gives the impression you think chores are a woman's job. Wow. And depending on the person, talking about having a kid can be pretty shaky territory, too. Some couples can't even have kids, so it's not like marriage is all about starting a family. And you topped it off with a planned visit to Arakawa's grave. That almost sounds like you want to marry her just to make the old man proud. They're doing... Hey, come on. You're saying every single thing I said was wrong? Oh, it's they got some stuck. points. Seriously, what the hell do I do now? Well, might just have to apologize. True. She might be fed up with you and all that, but it's better than saying nothing. Okay. Just gotta make things right. That was such a real conversation. <laughs> just, just real. It was great. Thanks, you guys. Seriously, there are some lines that he he had there that were just really well read too. <laughs> he sounds so panicked. Uh, don't sweat hey. it. If you're gonna go apologize to her, the sooner the better. Uh, yeah, all right. I'll go do it right now. My stomach's still in a knot though. No surprise there. You okay? Want us to tag along? Nah, I couldn't ask you to do that. You sure? Well, good luck. Goodbye. Later. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I better go apologize. I wonder if Sanchon's at work already. I'll swing by the bar. That might be a bad thing, too. Oh, boy. What? The... This is not what I pictured when I when I thought, hey, I'm starting Infinite Wealth. Uh, we're going to go through Ichiban's failing love life. But I I, I like it. I like it. I, it's just, it's blindsiding me right now. Uh, they're going very in-depth with him failing with this. It's got to mean something. Not an enemy in sight. Kind of the back just stronger. got wrecked. That's what you get for standing behind someone. Okay, we're going over here. No items or anything back here? Oh, there's one. Simple wristwatch. Okay. Uh, I do want to go to the pawn shop at some point. No, oh, hey. Wait, where is her club? This is the Komi Jewel. 
Huh. I didn't even know that was like a a place for clubs. The battle is on. Hi. Yeah. You're dead. That's how you do it. A win to be proud. The early stuff is very weak. I can't wait to actually like have to think when I fight. Ooh, wait, is uh, Sujimon headquarters still here? I have a lot of those grenades now. That's like the third one I picked up. This was the gambling hall. Yeah, I think Sujimon headquarters was second floor? I call it headquarters, but it, it really, it was just a lab. Third floor? There, that's, I think that's where it was. You did well to find me here. Real shame I've got nothing to give you, though. Now scram. Oh. Did he used to give me something? What is this? It's still here. <laughs> it just looks like a real ass person. Kind of looks like Utah. Just a little bit. Hold on, R3. Nothing different here. I, I'm assuming the imagination thing won't be back for a bit. He, he's just gonna be fighting normal ass people for a while. Uh, I do want him to get back to hero version. Oh, I have to go down the stairs. Hero version where everything he sees is just chaotic and hilarious. Okay. Right here, huh? This doesn't seem like a good spot for a club. Oh! Sajan! You're gonna make it worse. Hey, Ichiban. What a coincidence. Oh, no. I was looking for you. I wanted to apologize for yesterday. <clears throat> oh? Apologize for what? Oh, boy. I wasn't thinking about how you felt at all, and I ended up saying a whole bunch of terrible things. So, yeah. I want to apologize. Was what you said that terrible? I talked to Adachi-san and Namba about it afterwards, and things became pretty clear. First off, I made a bunch of weird assumptions saying stuff like, for a woman, and junk. And even though I know you take the club really seriously, I spouted off about how you could quit your job, you know, if we got married. Oh, and also, I said I'd help out with the chores as if you'd automatically be the one doing all that. There's more. I, I was talking about having a kid, like that was a given too. And then, on top of that, I said we should visit the boss's grave and put him in ease. Th that wasn't a lie, but I didn't mean to make it sound like I only want to get married for Arakawa-san's sake. Uh... I know I panicked, but it wasn't cool that I disregarded your feelings like that. Okay, really? he's handling it well. I'm so sorry, Sachan. You're doing good. She just seems to be trying That's to ignore it. it. You came all this way just to say that? <laughs> You're silly. I wasn't worried about that one bit. Huh? But I... I mean, sure, maybe those weren't the most tactful things to say, but no biggie. Work at a cabaret club long as I have and you hear a whole lot worse. Well, then, why did you... Well, it's just that we first met in kind of a weird way, you know? We're like partners in crime, you and me. Just think about how much we've been through. I guess at some point it started to feel like having you around's a given. <sighs> and, well, I think a little romance might get in the way of everything. Mm, that's fair. In that sense... I think it'd be better if we went back to being friends. Don't worry, though. I'm with you to the very end. 
Sachan. That's all there is to it. So don't beat yourself up, okay? Like I said before, let's just keep at it. See ya. Those were both good <sighs> ends of the conversation. Good apology and good letting him down. I, the fact that she walked away without saying that before, though. Oh, kind of brutal, but one year later. Interesting. I'm guessing he gave up on that. After that. Sajan, how's the club holding up? Okay, Ichiban. Right. Come on. Time to make some moves. All right, I hope they cover what he's been doing for a year here because, uh... Hey, good morning. Oh, Kasuga-kun. Morning. Let's give it all we got today, yeah? Uh, sure. Uh, listen, uh, can I talk to you for a second? Huh? Oh, is this about organizing the warehouse? Don't worry, I'm on it. Uh, no, you, you see, uh, there's something you should know. Why don't we grab a meeting room? Huh? Oh, okay, sure. Huh? My contract's been terminated? Uh-oh. I know. Crazy timing. Remember how it was supposed to renew end of next month? Well, I thought about trying to get you a raise, but just yesterday, City Hall went and denied the renewal. Uh, uh, w was there a problem with my quality of work? No, oh, no, 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 no. Kasuga-kun, you've done an outstanding job. But... Apparently, the city's budget is getting pretty tight. It seems they've no choice but to start cutting back on contractors. Wow. This is right. I see. This is the same conversation I just had with my employer. Understood. Well, uh, let me just say thank you for putting up with me. I'm guessing I'm done after this month. Well, for what it's worth. I'll be sure to finish strong. Uh, no. Uh, we'd actually like it if, uh, if today could be your last day. Okay, well, that did, that's not You want same. me to use my PTO? I mean, it's true I never took any, but I don't think I have that much stored up, do I? Oh, well, you won't have to worry about that. Uh, they made an exception, and will mark the rest as PTO as well. <laughs> They hardly ever do something like this. Oh, jeez. I, I don't deserve that. You don't have to give me any special treatment. I, I can just work until... I'm really sorry. This is just what the higher-ups have decided. Just know I'm grateful to you, all right? Okay. They don't want him well, publicly... Uh, with that, thank you for everything you've done for me. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, thank you. Weird. Well, that's that. Guess I ought to say goodbye to everyone. Well, that's more than I ever did. <laughs> uh, the conversation I had with my employer was almost identical. They're like, yeah, we just don't have... They're trying to save money, so everyone's gone. See ya. Oh, you're all getting laid off. I'm like... Okay. Well, fine. <laughs> just, it's just funny because I had that conversation me. yesterday. And then I'm recording this and this is happening. Uh, hey there, Ka Ka <laughs> Kosugi san. Oh, uh, hey there. Heard today's your last day. Uh, yeah. Just wanted to say thanks for all your help. I know you've been. I made a lot of trouble for you. Nonsense. Uh, it was no trouble at all. Best of luck on your future endeavors, Kasuguku. So. I'm sure you'll do great no matter where you go. Hey, thanks. Thank you. Right. I uh, guess I'll be taking off now. Thanks again. 
Okay, so. In the last game, when we met Ichiban, he went from pretty good to hitting rock bottom. Are you going to hit rock bottom again? Is that how you end up in Hawaii? Because you can't. It feels very much like we're, we're, we're on a path where everything's going to go wrong for us. Uh, pardon me, Kimura-san. Oh, hey. I heard today's your last day. Yeah, you were such a big help to me here. You even taught me how to use a computer. Oh, no, that was nothing, really. Sorry, I've actually got something I need to take care of by the end of the day. Take care of yourself. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, see ya. Why don't they want to talk to him? Seems like he was trying to rush away from us. Excuse me. Um, excuse me, imai son. Yes, this is kind of sudden, but today's actually my last day. I just wanted to say thanks so much for all your help. Uh, oh, yeah, I heard the news. I was pretty shocked, honestly. Uh, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll do great at your next Thank job. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Take care. Okay, that takes care of that. Does that put him in the same position as everyone else, then? Got all these people staring at him. Jesus. Oh. He didn't even look at him. Come on, get a grip. Everything's right back to how it used to be. Okay. Change from hello worker to freelancer. Suppose once I'm back, I had to let Adachi san know what happened. From there, I'll need to figure out a new way to carry on Arakawa san's legacy. You learn treasure hunt. Oh no, we're back to searching under vending <laughs> machines. Okay, yeah, you had to get broke to bring this mechanic back. Uh, yep. Find money, items, and things to pawn. Well. Let's go make some money. Hey. Oh, hmm? go back home and contact Adachi, I see. Uh, oh, I will up? run over hmm? to Ebisu Pond quick, if it lets me. Nope. No, we're blocked. Okay, so I can't I can't go over there. Because I think it's... Oh, it's Benton Pond. <sighs> this poor guy. Uh, it's kind of weird that a year passed since this happened. No. Because it, hmm? since we saw the, the denial from Sayako back to back with this, it What's feels up? like everything's going wrong for him, for him. But there was a year that passed. You gonna get jumped too? Hmm? Hey, that's him, right? Yeah, that's him. No doubt about it. Well, it's about damn time. Welcome home, Kasuga san. Huh? Who the hell are you? We just wanna do a little interview, that's all. You're basically the talk of the town. And why is that? You take bribes from former Yakuza, then ship him off to do shady jobs all over town. Oh, is that so, why they... What say you fill us in? What is this shit? Come on, the secret's out. Hello Works, a hookup for the Yakuza. That's why they The guys who broke up the Omi and Tojo have been off living the good life, right? <laughs> You're no exception. What? Who told you that? You can't just believe everything you hear, you know? All right, simmer down. Now, be real. Just how much are you making? Nobody wants a bunch of former Yakuza wandering around. Doesn't that weigh on your conscience at all? Back off! 
He's out of control. The real Ichiban Kasuga's on the loose! Well, they may call him the hero of Yokohama, but deep down, he's just another Yakuza. The Yakuza feeding off other Yakuza, no less. Oh, honor and duty, my freshly bruised ass! Okay, cut. <laughs> I wasn't smart of you to get rough on camera like that, Kasuga-san. Oh, you're in big trouble if this ever goes online. Oh boy. Toss a million my way, however, and it's yours. Have it ready by tomorrow. You think I'm gonna give in to this crap? You think anybody's gonna buy your stupid act? <laughs> a little editing goes a long way. Wait and see. Couple of clicks here and there, and everyone will think you threw a regular haymaker. Yeah, well, best of luck, pal. You sure? I mean... You're already going viral as it is. Ask yourself, do you really want to throw oil on that fire? Viral? Do I look like I'm sick to you? Huh? <laughs> oh boy, he doesn't know how the internet works. Oh, come on. Have you not seen how people are talking about you online? Can't say I have. Not a big web guy. <sighs> Seriously? Ugh, what a pain. Hey. Show him the video. What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya. Let's get to it. Ladies and gents, our perp of the day. Breaking new- oh, ah, I didn't read that in time. This man here is Ichiban Kasuga, a former gangster who was heavily involved in the dissolution of two major Yakuza factions four years ago. On top of that, some people even call him the hero of Yokohama. This exclusive footage was secretly recorded in Yokohama at a real hello work. Here we see none other than Ichiban Kasuga brazenly working the front desk. Meanwhile, the man sitting across from him is yet another former Yakuza. Who the hell is this? Sasaki? This was like a misunderstanding. Ichiban Kasuga seems to be whispering orders to his ex-Yakuza cohort. Then, having received his instructions from Kasuga, the ex-Yakuza leaves Hello Work. Only to make a beeline for... A mini-mart, a drugstore, and a uh -oh. fancy boutique! We catch him stealing things right off the shelves, even going so far as to use a fake hand! Okay. Hey, hold up! That ain't right! Finally, it looks like Kasuga then buys the items from his personal thief at a deep discount. According to our extensive research, in just this day, a whopping two million yen's worth of product was stolen. Kasuga bought the lot for an unheard of 20 grand. In other words, he's having down and out ex-Yakuza steal for him, then making a tidy profit reselling the stolen goods. This is the secret. No, the true face of the hero of Yokohama. Hey, what the <clears> hell? <throat> Which one of you made this? <laughs> like she said, it's the Tatara channel. She's pretty much a god, and with five million subscribers at that. I mean, oh. if anything, you should be proud you made it on her show, Kasuga-san. My ass, I'm proud. This whole thing's bogus. Bogus? <laughs> Dude, they got the whole thing on video. <laughs> oh, I see now. It all makes sense. That's gotta be why I got let go today. It's just got to. Anyway, look, we got you on video, so... You gonna buy it off us or not? Like hell I am! I haven't done a damn thing wrong, you bastards! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a shame. Guess we got no choice. How about we have this guy take a little nap, then move on to the next target? <laughs> next target? Who's that? Alright, you're up, Mr. Bodyguard. So, you want me to beat this guy down? Yep. Just enough to gonk him out. Oh, uh, <laughs> try not to put this one in the hospital, okay? <laughs> Who's this dude? I met him online. I have him I... lend a hand whenever we're doing a risky shoot. 
Wait, you don't know? Top Street Fighter online sensation Asakura channel? Ring any bells? <laughs> Man, he's trending like crazy right now. Kind of looks like Mr. Oh, Shakedown hey, if he was idea. skinny. Why don't I record you knocking him flat like a pancake? Eh? <laughs> I'll feature you on my channel as a guest. Huh? What do you say? Sure, whatever. As long as I get to fight. Hell yeah! Oh, we are jumping yeah, there's something to the front with this one. <laughs> All right, let's get footage then go hit up that Sasaki creep. Wait, Sasaki? Why are you bringing him into this? Why do you care? He's just a chump from the Hiwatashi clan, and I'm afraid he's next on the chopping block. <laughs> um, We're gonna give him a little interview as well. How's it feel to have quit the Yakuza and have it blasted all over the internet? You asshole. Couple that footage with this fight, and we're talking at least oh, five million views easy. Knock it off! <laughs> he's giving everything he's got to rebuild his life right now. You're not gonna get in the way of that. I think what they did. <laughs> what they did <laughs> the was. Uh, the VTuber and the way they presented it, it's very real. Like how how anyone anyone will just buy into that immediately. They they did really good shots of uh kind of pinning the crime on crime on him, I guess. You know what? I don't know. I need to go for someone wait, can I I can't change target. Oh, I'll move up here. I wanna I guess you have to you have to select something to change a target. All right, I want to I want to knock back. All right, two of you are gone. Oh, you all attack the same way. Oh, I don't know why I can't hit both of them. I mean, it has been a while. That's my only excuse. Let's see, can I? Open yeah, knock him into him. Break oh, he's level five. No, 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 no. Uh, attack. Yeah. I really like the air, the the system with the knockback and stuff. Yeah, let's grab one. Straight left? Oh, cool. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't block that. A win to be proud of. <sighs> <laughs> On to the next level. Honestly, this is like a weirdly modern scare scary thing position for Think I'm getting stronger. For Ichiban to be in. Because it's something you can't really fight. Especially since it's a, a VTuber. People who you can't see, but everyone, everyone will follow that. Gotta say, you're pretty tough. <sighs> Thanks. You can relax. You proved you're the real deal. Let's go again soon, yeah? And next time, we do this legit. Now smile for the cameras. Hmm. Just a guy who likes to fight, huh? <sighs> that guy means business. As always, Tatara Channel is on the case. Ready to research, reveal, and rebuke the crimes running rampant around the world. Tatara Channel. Hmm. Yeah, I do remember in the trailer, that was one of the uh, things that... Hey, I was just about to call you. Stood you never out. guess. I'm sorry, Kasuga. He pains me to say, but I have to close up shop. Huh? Yeah, Namba's coming over to my place. Apparently, he suddenly got fired, too. Is she just going around wrecking everyone? What the hell? Seriously, what's going on? They gave me the same speech <laughs> as you, Kasuga. 
I got into work, then immediately got called in by my boss who said I didn't have to come in anymore. And I got a call from the bank. They told me I couldn't take out another loan and there was nothing I could do to change that. When I asked why, they said their assessment standards are a company secret. And I'm barely hanging in there as it is. If my financing gets cut off, I'll have no choice but to throw in the towel. Damn. And all three of us either lost our jobs or got abandoned by the bank. Yeah, not to mention those jerks who started picking on Kostika. It can't be a coincidence. Right. Now, as to what caused all this... Just who the heck is she? A content creator. Supposedly she specializes in call-out videos. Call-out videos? Well, thanks to smartphones, these days anyone has a chance to be a whistleblower. Next thing you know, the video's racking up views on a channel just like this. One day they might show a video from a woman trying to get back at an abusive celebrity. The next, you might see a tip toward political corruption, usually from some kind of secretary. Okay, so it's mm. kind of like a tabloid? Well, that's a simple way to put it, yeah. Thing is, Anonymity is super prevalent on the internet, so not many stories are true. Hmm. It typically falls to the channel's user to sort through the trash. The more well-researched and credible the stories are, the more popular the channel. Our so-called Tatara channel is apparently at the top of the heap when it comes to credibility. Guess she even helped solve a real-life crime, and all because of a video. As so you can imagine, believe. the politicians and police follow her pretty closely. I believe the her video now. of me, what about that? That was a total load. Well, that I'm not so sure about. Maybe there's a tip so incredibly well crafted, even Tatara couldn't see through it. I wonder who gave her the tip in the first place. Uh, she never reveals the identity of her sources. That's why she always gets the big scoops. So when exactly did the video get put online? Three days ago. Since then, it's hit three million views. And now that it's on the Tatar channel, you can bet the world believes every bit of it. Do we have any way to get in touch with her? Sure. You can always try and DM her. I already did, though. No response so far. But even if she did take the video down, what's done is done. Once something yep. gets uploaded, copies of it start spreading like wildfire. And what makes this whole mess even sadder is, those who eat this stuff up don't even really care about the truth. They don't? Then what the hell's the point? Really, most people just want a target. A punching bag for their own problems. You can't go around trashing innocent people, but if it's someone who's proven to be evil, well, that's a different story. So it's bullying. Rebranded for the modern era. Well, on the other hand, this stuff has actually served as a bit of a crime deterrent. We uploaded Rio Aoki's confession four years ago, remember? The cultural climate's been changing ever since. And uh, now it's our turn on the chopping block, is that it? Talk about irony. Oh, I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Namba, this is my fault. Huh? If I hadn't been so naive, none of this would have happened. Hey. You two turned your lives around and I went and ruined everything. I'm so sorry. How did Nanba lose his job, though? He wasn't in any of the video. Yeah, uh, truth be told, I had a feeling you'd take it that way. Why would this ever be your fault? You dumbass. The problem's obviously whoever spread the lies. And what's more, don't underestimate us. We've ridden out rougher storms than this one. I'll say. Compared to sleeping outside in the snow back when I was a bum, this is a regular slice of heaven. Come what may, I'll crawl my way out of hell as many times as it takes. Pretty sure you'd do the same, right? Guys! Thank you! Look, just know... 
I won't be able to help you get ex Yakuza back on their feet anymore. Yeah, not like you could, seeing as you lost both your source of jobs and the means to hand them out. I feel like a joke. Especially after all that talk about carrying out the boss's legacy. Well, look, right now, just do your best. Besides, it's fair to say more Yakuza are gonna come looking for help. You'll have to explain all that's happened. Yeah, you're right. Can't really help them. Uh, I, does he have blue highlights in his hair? I don't know if that was blue highlights or like a blue light reflecting on... I don't see it there, but it was in the last scene. There's a good chance some ex Yakuza might still come knocking at Hello Work. I should stop by to be safe. You... Poor guy. Yeah, that looks like... Hold on, can I, can I get like a... Wait, 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 we have a... We have a... L3? There we go. Um, up? No. L1, arm up, arm down. I see. I've never used this. <laughs> I just wanted to see your hair, but it's like the only thing I can't see. I thought maybe I could get him to like tilt his head down or and, something. And pose. Be sad. That doesn't look very sad. Be sad. Smile. Do a silly face. I in, in judgment when you hit it that like I hit right there, but if I hit right again, do a silly face. You don't have like a bigger grin or anything, so. Yeah, I swear he's got some blue highlights going on. Sorry, I'm I'm so distracted right now, uh, thinking about how real this story actually might be. Uh, it's certainly unique. I don't mean real isn't like real real, but like uh, how relevant it is to modern modern day. Okay, so okay, we can't go that way. So how? How I still don't have like any guesses whatsoever to how we end up at. Oh, oh, pressing square calls out? Somebody! Hey! Huh. How we end up in Hawaii, though? Like, I don't get that. Somebody! Why can't I treasure hunt now? Interesting. Um, excuse me. Are you Kasuga-san? You know. Ichiban Kasuga, the hero of Yokohama? That's me. Oh, thank goodness. I heard you got work, that maybe you might have a job for me? Uh, yeah, about that. As you can see, I too used to be in the Yakuza. I've got a wife and two kids. The older one starts elementary school next year. They've gone through hell because of me, but I at least want to provide a good life for my family. The, uh, word on the street is that even a guy like me could find some honest work and turn things around. Please, is there anything available? I'm sorry. Hmm? You see, I actually just lost my job. As such, I can't do a whole lot for you. Huh? I'm just here to break the news, tell everyone what happened. Just know I'm really sorry. You're serious? Man, no matter where I go, it's the same thing. I was planning to end it all, but that changed when I heard about you. I'm really at the end of my rope. Oof. <sighs> now, now you're out too? You're in the same boat as me? Is this some kind of sick joke? God damn it, you gave me hope, you know that? You can't just toy around with people's emotions like this. Come on! I'm sorry. Please, I, I'm so sorry. Damn it! <sighs> Excuse me. 
I oh, get it. Uh, Kasuga-san. Hey, good to see you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cause a scene. Uh, that that's okay. Do you, um, think I can ask you a favor? Provided it's not too much trouble. Could you put up a sign saying I'm not here anymore? You see, there's a good chance more people will show up looking for me. You mean more Yakuza? Former Yakuza, yes. Would you do that for me? Otherwise, I'm worried they'll just cause trouble for you. Uh, oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I certainly don't want those guys waltzing in here and harassing people. Mm. I really appreciate it. Uh, furthermore, uh, don't think that hanging around will make us change our decision. Oh boy. Uh, also, were you fighting out here? I won't have anything like that on the premises. Not one bit. I'm sorry. I'll leave right away. Guess I'll go see Sasaki. He should know what's been going on. You know, I know people <clears throat> a meme that this game is a serious crime drama, but so far it has been very serious. <laughs> I need, I need someone to just be running around, uh, wearing nothing but bubbles, asking us to take them to the the, the station or something. So, something wacky's got to happen. I mean, I, I'm enjoying this, but I feel so bad for it. <laughs> what's going on. I really oh, hope. God, <laughs> Let's do it. I, I don't like seeing Kasuga sad. I, I don't like it. Not an enemy in sight. Those guys went down way too easy. I know this is still all tutorial prologue nonsense, and it'll it'll pick up. It'll it'll get more Hopefully he gets more positive. You know what? I have a feel oh. Oh, this is actually where I'm going. I have a feeling, however we end up in Hawaii, it's going to change his attitude. He's going to be happy away from, well, I don't know about happy. Away from all the nonsense here. Oh, hey, Kasuga-san. Sorry to bother you all of a sudden. There's something I... I heard from Adachi-san. I'm getting let go at the end of the month. I'm sorry. It's my fault for not having my act together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all right. Actually, this whole thing's helped me come to terms with it. I put all that effort into having a change of heart to rebuild my life, and then something like this happens. I'm starting to think that someone up there must really hate me. Sasaki. <laughs> it's no big deal, really. <laughs> I'd say you look a hell of a lot worse than me, huh? Um. Thanks for uh, letting me dream for a bit. Anyway, I probably ought to start packing this place up. Oh boy. You know what? I'm kind of hoping he just gets kidnapped and brought to Hawaii. Someone get him out of this depressing situation. <laughs> he sat he sat here depressed for another month after that? <sighs> he still has the bat. Great. What do I do now? Kasuga, you there? It's Adachi. I'm here too. Adachi san? Namba? Hey, sorry to barge in. You got a minute? Yeah. Time's about all I got these days. Be a driver instructor again? Why is sorry, he a bad outfit? Hope you guys are fine with just water. The water's never a bad thing. Much obliged. <clears throat> it's 
not Nama's a hobo again, isn't he? That is his hobo so, outfit. What's up? It's just that well, something's been on my mind. Have you, by any chance, gone past Hello Work recently? Yeah, uh, nearby, at least. I thought maybe there might still be some guys looking for me. Oh, any luck? Anybody end up swinging by? I got a couple guys the first few days, but no more than that. Guess word's gotten around that they can't count on me anymore. I see. Well, it turns out there might be more to it than that. What do you mean? Well, lately our old friend the Seiryu clan's been acting mighty suspicious. The Seiryu clan? I think back a bit. You remember how Captain Takabe became the chairman after Hoshino died? Oh, he did. Yeah, that made sense, given how the clan's set up. And did you know that Takabe went to prison? No. <laughs> That's news to me. Right. So here's where things get interesting. Rumor has it, the Yakuza left behind by both the Tojo and the Omi have started gathering under the Seiryu banner. But we're not just talking 10 or 20 guys here. Huh? You mean... I mean, the Seiryu clan's been boosting their numbers in a big way. And neither Hoshino nor Takabe would have okayed that. However... With Chairman Hoshino dead, and Takabe in the slammer... Exactly. Somebody in the Seiryu clan must be plotting something while their boss is out of commission. What? So all those guys who are trying to go straight, they're going back in under the Seiryu clan? Nah, that's not all. Frankly, it gets even worse. Huh? Apparently, Sasaki's one of them. He's joined the Seiryu clan, too. Sasaki? Hmm. Losing his job really took its toll, I guess. We can't rule out the possibility that he gave up. Living as a civilian might have been too tough. Ugh. Damn. So he went and joined the Seiryu clan? Are you sure? Yeah. yeah, I heard it from one of my buddies at the homeless camp. Look, I'm pretty sure I've got no right saying this. In fact, I know I don't. But I can't stand by and watch Sasaki get dragged back into the Yakuza. After all, he made a decision to earn his life back. I saw him do it with my own eyes. I want to help him, however I can. <laughs> well, I figured you would, and I'm glad. <laughs> Okay. Uh oh. Are we in an actual scene now? You're heading to Seriu Clan HQ, right? Count us in. <laughs> but guys. Oh, but nothing. We're with you on this. Besides, there's no guarantee they'll be willing to hash things out. And after everything, you really think we'd leave you to the dogs? Mm -hmm. Adachi san. Namba. You're stuck with us. <laughs> Just like that, the party's back together. Let's say we Almost. set off on another adventure. Yeah, Mr. Hero? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> any hero worth his salt needs a weapon to match. So, where'd you stash it? Sash what? <laughs> like you forgot. Your hero's bad. Don't tell me you tossed it out. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, well, uh... Seriously? Uh, what the hell is that? Well, I, I needed to hang stuff, so... Uh, then buy a rack or something, man! That thing deserves better! <laughs> sure does. Uh, and after my little speech. <sighs> Ooh, that's zesty. Honestly, it's a hero's bat, right? Time to go to work. Right. All right, let's roll out. Actually, can we hold on a sec? What for? <laughs> if I'm going on an adventure, then I'll need to look the part. Oh! Is it going back to Perm?
This is imagination right. back. Bringing the old suit back was a good call. I know, right? Gotta say, it's funny. The three of us kicking things off again. <laughs> what did you expect? We're in it for the long haul. If I'm being honest, I think part of me's been waiting for this day for a long time. <laughs> All right, it's hero time. Nanba, Adachi-san, we made names for ourselves as the heroes of Yokohama once before. Let's remind this town just what we're all about, yeah? Hell yeah. Right behind you. Yeah! Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Why did they have to show reality? I liked what was going on in Kasuga's head. I don't need to see reality. Switch to hero. All right, before this continues, can I pause? I can. I'm going to need one moment. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I have this weird mic problem. If you've watched any of my recent Let's Plays, that this it just disconnects on its own sometimes, and it doesn't reconnect uh, to OBS, so it gets really confused. Um, and I haven't checked it in a while. I changed the sound, so you shouldn't hear any... It shouldn't interrupt cutscenes. I just wanted to make sure before we continue. <laughs> So there should only be like a very quiet sound if this accidentally disconnects. I gotta say, that bat really takes me back. It was right around here you plucked that thing out of the ground, yeah? Yeah, and me and Adachi-san couldn't get it to budge. Remember that how was... you said only the chosen hero could pull it out? It was not here. <laughs> oh yeah, you were calling it a holy sword or whatever. I knew you had a childhood fantasy thing going on, but at that point I wondered, is this guy okay in the head? <laughs> and I haven't changed one bit. Ha! I will be the savior of this world! Check it out. He's doing it. Get her done, hero. Always here to save the day. <laughs> hey! You old farts done LARPing around? Then how about you give us some spending money? Yeah, you won't get much from us. We're dead broke. You're telling me the three of you don't have a single yen on you? I think you're feeding me some bullshit! Now fork over some cash! What the hell? Not every random guy you see is loaded, you know. Hey, hero. I think I see a slime approaching. Ready to put that holy sword to work? <laughs> I was just thinking it's been too long. Namba, Adachi-san, you ready? Yeah! Oh, boy. Someone you know, didn't they? Now you're going Ooh. down. Huh? There Whoa. we go. Did these guys just transform? Huh? Going through this again? Transform into what? Didn't he say something like that back in the day? How once he became a hero, the bad guys would change during battle? Oh, oh yeah. Well, when it comes to fighting, you do you. Don't get delusional on us. Wait, so am I the only one? Oh well, more fun for me, I guess. You cool. You've said that before. Uh, the, that was the same line. More fun for me. I got. I'm pretty sure that's the exact line. We have a new song. Did the song also change with his delusions. Okay, we got Batbreaker Classic. I did. Okay. Applies your weapon's attributes. Interesting. Hero's wisdom boosts critical hit rate. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use Batbreaker. Oh, he did a different. Yeah. I, I'm I'm more used to his like normal like heavy swing there, but he he did like a a little twirl with a stop. That's new. Oh yeah. Okay. Still still got your pyro belch. Wait. Uh. Just just magic damage. Nothing special this. on there. Oh, I have to press the button now. That's new. Ow. Get serious. What? Ooh, a chance to lower their attack, though. I'm surprised he doesn't have his, uh... Doesn't have his normal move here. High likely to rage an enemy and lower their... I don't want to lower your attack. Hey, I'm a cop! You you are not a cop anymore. Unless, unless I'm crazy. 
Yeah, let's Watch go for that this. guy. You still interrupt me? No. Um. Yeah, I'll just hit him. Hit him! Oh. Let's go. Okay, ten. Hit him! Oh, he's still down. That's how he got it. Oh, we got to revive. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, when we're together, nothing can stand in our way. Hey, we're about to raid a Yaz Yakuza HQ. Don't get cocky just because we took out a few grunts. What's that? Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. He's right. With Chairman Hoshino dead and Takabe in prison, who knows if anyone in the Seryu clan will be willing to listen to us. Stay sharp, you two. Right. All right, enemies will change appearance yep. due to his wild imagination. Actually, before we do that, our hero might be a sword in hand and ready to face the world, but I was thinking we could use a little something, too. Hey, now that you mention oh. it. Say, uh, that love magic place over there's got some neat stuff. Might be nice to stock up. Yep. Sure, good plan. We're in, in we're in the area, so we might as well, eh? No complaints here. Buying equipment and boosting your stats is all part of the adventure. Okay. Be good to spruce things up before we bust into the Seryu clan. Yep, you can buy weapons and equipment from stores and equip them. You can compare with Square. I think that's what I... Uh, we already looked at this in... The actual menu. Do we have new menu items? Still can't read those character backgrounds. They're not wearing any defensive gear at all. Part of me thinks... Pure white briefs. Um, and green means... Normal equipment. Blue must mean... Accessory. Or that little triangle in the top left. I think I'll just... Can I... Can I just buy... I have to buy one at a time. You can't buy multiple at a time. What do these count as? Oh, they actually replaced the shirt? Why would you wear pure white briefs? <laughs> it's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, but I can get the boots. Do I block anything? In nope. Nope. Bottom right is nothing for menus, too. Thank God. I don't have to move myself that often. Health ring increases attack, surprisingly. That's very expensive, though. Um, these are better for them, so I might as well get it. Bamboo broom. Jumbo sausage. Massive massage. Oh my god. Attacks and weapon skills may paralyze, though. These don't have an element on them, but this does. But we just got the hero's bat. Rip Heroes Bat. I just want to look at this quick. I'm still good. I remember leveling this thing up to like the max in the last game, and it was super powerful at the end. Uh, it still almost didn't beat the final dungeon, true final Millennium Tower, whatever it was called. I don't know. That was that was rough. That was those uh, dark days. All right. So everything. Wow, we have access to a surprising amount. We can't go up here though. I don't. 
I still don't think I need to look around. I, I still kind of want to stay f story focused, but I think I'm going to end it here, and then the next one we'll do the Seryu clan and hopefully get some... He seems like he's in a better mood already, thankfully. Like, poor guy. Always going through hell, hitting rock bottom repeatedly, but... Hopefully something starts to look up for him. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm kind of covering their portraits, but... I was going to take those in. They're very much more like uh, mug shots than the last one. Kind of like... Uh, they kind of got a Red Dead Redemption oh, look to them, almost. You know, like a wanted poster or something. I, I, I personally like them. The last one, I don't remember. Let me, let me compare them. Sorry, I just want to I just want to compare these real quick. Uh, can I make you bigger? Actually, I can cut the rest of it. So this is the last game's HUD. Where they use the realistic ones. I personally really like... Really like the updated... Actual stylized version instead of just the pictures. Waiting on someone? Man, Very cool. Alright, uh, j just had to, j just had to go over that for my own, my own sake, because I was curious. Um, yeah, so, in the next one, Serial Clan, thanks for watching, let me know if you like it, and I will see you in the next one.